So this is the set, we're gonna show you around a little bit. This here is the bar top. Um, this is just a plywood countertop built on top of a two by four frame. Um, we have some shelving underneath it, as you can probably see towards the back side over here. Um, and then that wraps around, we have some shelving, lots of props on top of the shelf and below it. Uh, the whole thing looks a little bit crooked and that's because we're on top of a raked platform deck of a, the entire performing space is slanted at about a three degree angle, which gives a, um, a different perspective to an audience member. Uh, following up behind the, wall, the bar, we have this curved wall, which then transitions into a ceiling. The ceiling is made out of uh, steel frames, covered in a, a Luan skin, and then individually bricked, uh, with bricks cut from uh, foam, which were then distressed and painted. There's about 3,000 of them up there. So that was a major element of the construction. As we uh, pan around, there's the street curve on the ground here. Uh, to serve as a, another active space and transition of environment. Uh, it's uh, framing underneath with plywood on top and then uh, sort of paint texture using sawdust and sand and glue. Uh, the archway, which transitions to another acting space. Um, there's also a, a wood frame then bricked over and then a plaster applied to it, giving it a really uh, authentic texture. The boots, these are, uh, these are internally framed, again covered in plywood and then upholstered. Uh, the tables were, all, were built by our props department. They're plywood tops with steel bases. Um, <clears throat> trying to create that real diner feel. And the same thing goes for the tables. A really unique element to this production is the crane of our arm, which is above the set. From the balcony in the bar of the theater, a stage hand can operate this crane and it moves from stage left to stage right. Um, and then there's also the microphone on the end, which can be lowered in. And it's a live mic for the actors to, to speak their monologues into, which the directors block to the show is a really cool way of transitioning between moments. Uh, the Crane Arm also has a lot of uh, symbolic reference to the show, so it was a really big element, and it was a really big challenge for us with the 16-foot lever arm that it creates. Uh, it was a really big weight issue, so we actually welded this out of aluminum, which is something new for the Department of Theater and Dance. Um, so it's a, good, it's a good capability to add to our repertoire, though. And this area leads to the, the backstage or the kitchen of this diner. Um, these walls are actually things we pulled from stock, uh, they give it a unique paint treatment to kind of, like it's going to the depths of the restaurant or like an underworld almost, because with the, if it's thematically with the show. And then once the actors get back there, they can transition, they can go left or right to get to the, the backstage re regions of the theater where there's the prop tables and costume changes and things like that. Well, as the audience enters their way into the Bartlett Theater, Instead of walking the door closest to the lobby, we're actually having them walk through the hallways around the theater, where on the walls, the cast members have started a sort of a graffiti installation. Um, some of the, the designer presented them with some images as a jumping off point, and from there, they kind of went go into character and, and, and draw on the walls with chalk as, they, as their character would feel. And that way, as they, before the audience even enters the space, it gives them a feel of, what they're walking into in a real, start, starting to develop the world of the play before they even see it. It's an ongoing process. As rehearsals go on, the cast will be able to continue with this and layer onto it. And it's kind of a unique element for the show to, to develop itself before it even starts. Right now, there's, a little, there's some limited seating just to give some spacing in the theater, but we're going to be adding um, some atypical chairs for, this, for the Barland space. The chairs out there now being the gray, the gray sander chairs. We're going to be switching them out for chairs which we pull from uh, storage. And there will be all sorts of different wooden chairs and kitchen chairs or office chairs. Uh, there's the sofa that's currently out there now. And it's really going to be on its feel like they're part of an environment rather than just sitting in the theater here at Fredonia. So it's creating a new experience for them and then um, really bringing them into the world of the play rather than being observers to it.
So this show is going to be an experience for someone who comes to see it. You'll be here in the environment uh, that this set creates and brings you into, and these actors are on stage portraying a, a certain area of life which we might, might not necessarily think about every day, but it's a look into the lives of people on stage. And it's an experience. That's all I can say about it.